WRTV's Hiring Hoosiers connects you to open job opportunities and aims to remove barriers for job seekers. The backers of a massive construction project on Indianapolis's northeast side, well, they're focused on hiring workers who tend to be overlooked in the construction industry. Bloomington-based Cook Medical is building a manufacturing facility on East 38th and Sheridan, and it wants a diverse team building it and running it. Gary Dozier has been building things for more than 20 years. Oh, yeah, it's great work. A hardworking man and a family man. I was able to raise three daughters, you know, wife, three kids, and, you know, all my daughters is off to school, college, and, you know, it just provided a good life. He's fairly new to this particular project, recruited to be part of a team constructing a new 48,000 square foot manufacturing facility on Indianapolis's northeast side for Cook Medical. He's the carpenter foreman working on the foundation. We'll be doing the framing, exterior framing, interior framing, drywall, doors, etc. But this project on 38th and Sheridan in a predominantly black neighborhood needs dozens more workers to take it from a blueprint to a building. Gonna change this. And that's where Akila Darden and her construction management firm comes in. We are building for the community, by the community, and not to the community. So we are very intentional about hiring diversity for this project. Cook Medical hired Akila to get the word out and onboard roughly 100 people of color, women, and veterans. So it was very intentional to come here and change the socioeconomics for the people, by the people. So in order to do that, you have to hire the community and have people working here that look like the community. There's already a major shortage of construction workers here and across the country. The organizers of this project are not only looking to provide opportunities for a lifelong career, but they're also looking to remove barriers. Actually, I will take anyone that is over 18. No experience necessary. We will give you on-the-job training. We will give you a construction certification and take classes while you're getting paid. And we will give you an OSHA 10, which is a safety certification. Uh, we will take anyone that has a background or barriers. That is not a barrier of entry. We just need someone that's committed to coming to work every single day, and we will change their social economics and give them a career. Already, 18 Marion County residents have been hired and several black owned contracting companies have signed on to help build the Cook Medical Facility which will produce surgical and medical equipment like catheters, needles, wires and tubes. Farm work over here. Gary started his building career right out of high school taking advantage of training programs and applying himself to push through the learning curve. He's got the paycheck to prove it. The most rewarding I would say the money. Uh, the money is uh, not bad at all. The benefits is excellent. Akila says this project is about lifting up people who have been typically overlooked and giving them a chance to work on a project in their own neighborhood. But that's not all. We are not going to turn anyone away and we are going to not only get them employment for this project, but construction projects beyond. It's a career and not just a job. The Cook Medical Facility is expected to be complete at the end of this year. Goodwill Industries will oversee manufacturing operations and will need to hire at least 100 workers later this year. If you're interested in learning more about the construction jobs or the manufacturing jobs, search for this story under HiringHoosiers.com and look for the link that we provide.